People think that the Federal Reserve is an agency of the federal government. It is not. It is a cartel, no different than a banana cartel or an oil cartel. It happens to be a banking cartel in the Federal Reserve and the big, biggest banks in the country. Uh, view the taxpayers as the ultimate last resort to cover their losses. That's one of the reasons they're so anxious to form this partnership with Congress, with the government, so that the laws are written in such a way that it appears that to bail out the banks is to save America. You see, If the people can be convinced that the government has to bail out the banks and make good on their debts and keep them from going insolvent, if they if they believe that if they don't do that, America is going to suffer or America will fall, that's the only reason that people will, will go for it, you see. And people don't see that side of the coming crisis. They're just thinking about money. And they think, well, if I put enough money away, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. No, they won't be fine. When society collapses, no one will be fine. We'll be living under a totalitarian system. We'll be dependent upon a totalitarian government to tell us where to live, how to work, what our wages will be, or at least how much bread we will get, what clothes we get, and so forth. Medical care, they'll take care of us, of course. They'll take care of us totally, just like they take care of prisoners, totally. And that, I think people need to think about. It's not just a monetary issue, it's a freedom issue as well.